Welcome back to the LNCP in our YouTube channel. I'm back on the road. I got my truck and trailer and I'm driving to insurance auto auctions to pick up our next build. All right, we're here at the auction, picking up our car. Let's go see what we got. There she is. We're back at the shop. The Cayenne is unloaded and we can finally take a look and see what's happening with it. The wheel looks good. I don't see any damage. A little curb rash and then I think the tire is punctured. That's why they put on the spare. We got some rear bumper pieces. It's a lower fender liner, undershield, couple brackets. But here's the Cayenne very nice buy i think i think there's a control arm or two bent the wheel is a little pushed forward but other than that it looks like the quarter panel got the main damage trunk is completely untouched this tail light on the inner trunk are good like i said for some reason they decided to take the tail lights and then the little monitors that go right here like they had they really didn't need to take this one off but they did and just left the wire inside there's a couple more plastic pieces shields broken light and then they got a baggie of bolts. So reinforcement is gone, unfortunately. Parking sensors. And the tail lights. Let me pull it out for you guys. Let's take a look in the back. very clean it's a nice brown interior dark brown it kind of looked black on the pictures when i was bidding but it's not bad i don't hate it uh no airbags deployed and seat belts are intact here's the front we got 55,984 miles and yeah, very clean. Let's start her up. Starts right up. We got no error codes, no airbag codes, just a seat belt, uh, TPMS, obviously, because we have a spare tire, and then a brake light, probably because. Um, brake pad sensor maybe got ripped or something we'll investigate that but uh let me pull it out for you guys so you can see runs and drives sounds good uh they did take the exhaust off that's why it's a little rouchy But we do have the exhaust they did throw that in the car out of all the things they threw in the car they threw a big ass exhaust in the car but they couldn't put any tail lights in there i got it right here the tip got mangled but i'm gonna replace these tips anyways so hopefully we can save it
All right, I got that car up in the air, took the spare tire off just to take a look. Looks like we got one broken arm and then one bent arm here. Uh, that's all I can see from now. This one looks straight, but I got a complete use suspension. All the arms are on it, all the arms are good. So we're just gonna swap the entire thing over. That way we know for sure we got everything covered. All right, I think our front bumper just arrived. Let's open it up and see. All right, here's our donor. It has a few scratches, but we're gonna paint it anyways. Change the light, but it has the sensors. This light's good. The bottom we're gonna paint to match. But now we can at least repair the quarter. Now that we have the bumper, now we can line everything up. the Porsche quarter panel is finally primered ready to go we're gonna paint it along with the rear bumper we're still repairing the bumper a little bit so for now I took off all the moldings and the wheel arch squares along with the front bumper and here we are in the spray booth we got the rocker moldings, we got our front bumper, I filled the license plate holes and there is a couple nicks and scratches that we're just going to refinish. We got our new wheel arch for the left rear and then we're just going to paint the bottom textured portions on all the rest of them as well as the door moldings. We're gonna paint the bottom textured to match the body paint. These are, the tops are already painted, so I masked them off. We're just gonna do the bottom sections that were textured and we already primered and prepped everything. And this is our lower shield for the front bumper. Also was textured, painted black. So we're gonna redo it. Primer it, we're gonna paint it all white. Everything's gonna be white. So we're going for the GTS style theme. Painted wheel arches, painted moldings, and painted rockers. The lower bumper, I'm also gonna paint just the same way. We'll get some dual tips and make it look similar. All right, here we are. Everything is painted. It's the next day and looking beautiful and clean. Check it out. Front bumper. Got the flares. Painted the side markers body color. Got the moldings. And I had some clear left over, so I got all the front lights painted, smoked, not painted, smoked them out a little bit, give it a more aggressive look, as well as the fog lights. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm just going to throw some of the grills on the bumper, that way I can put it on the car, so we can free up some stands for the next part. And I did paint all the grill parts gloss black as well. Just to freshen them up, give it a more newer look. So I'm gonna throw some of these parts on the front bumper, then I'll show you guys what it looks like. The bumper is assembled and looking beautiful. I love all the gloss black grills. The smoked LED makes this grill part look bigger, as well as the fog lights. Wow, what a transformation. I'm gonna put the washers on and then we'll throw it on the car.
I got the parts painted, I got my bumper assembled, and I got it installed on the car, and I love the way it's looking. I'm very happy with how everything turned out. My color match was good, all the painted pieces came out beautiful, and now we're ready to do the rest of the car. But we're gonna end part one of the video here, so be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for part two. In part two, I'm gonna install all the rest of the moldings that I painted, and then we're gonna get to the rear quarter panel that was damaged we're gonna paint that along with the rear bumper and the trunk spoiler piece everything back together assemble it detail it and then i'll show you guys what it turns out like before i do anything else to the car i just want to piece it together drive it for a bit make sure i really like it and then we can get to the calipers and then the gloss black wheels and i am thinking of doing h&r lowering springs the car is kind of high and the springs do ride kind of stiff, so I think the H&Rs will actually soften it up as well as lower it and uh, give us a little better ride. So stay tuned, you guys don't wanna miss it. That is gonna be it for this video. We'll catch you on the next one.